ons nieuwe kaptein Frank Kroos Moster en Elk in de Sloot bij vandaag. Dankjewel. Jullie kan wel begin. Sorry, it's okay. Let's go for it. Yeah, maybe just before we get into the sun rules, um, you guys don't lose a lot of matches. This time, um, off the back of the blues to keep, what has been the talk um, looking at this one? Because I'm assuming the talks are now a little bit different, or does it all stay the same? You know, it's a, it's a great question. We uh, said from the word go, there's, there's hurdles in the air of us. And uh, we're not going to, hopefully we clear all the hurdles, but we're not going to, some of them we're going to knock down. We knocked it down. I don't want to go into that discussion, you know, that we're focusing now already on Saturday, but it's behind us. So the whole focus is already on the hurdle in front, and it's a team that plays very good rugby, attracting, uh, they're really analysing their game and they run the ball well. So uh, the whole focus is straight away. In fact, we started Monday after 12, it was all under the route. Coach, uh, with your uh, changes to the team, some people would say you're taking the, the sun rules fairly lightly. I oh, know, no, not whatsoever. What gives you that impression? Josh? Well, the changes that you've made and so on, you've rotated half the team, basically. Not really, not really if you look at that. We, we're just sticking to a rotation policy. Okay. That's all we're doing. You know, the, the most of the, the uh, apart from Warren, the spine is still there. Mm. We still have Malcolm, we still have Frank, who. Uh, uh, we still have uh, Ross and Elton, and we still have Bubus, mm -hmm. so we, we, we stuck to the spine a lot. Okay, just obviously you've rotated the team with a view to next week maybe, and the week after that, just talk us around the actual reason of that. Yeah, you know, we, we are resting a few guys. It's a, it's a very tough trip to the, to the Argentinian guys next mm -hmm. week. And, you know, when the guys come back, you've got to recover quickly for the Crusaders. So the idea was... Uh, Jock van Rooyen and Andries and Kyle to raise those kind of guys. Who's the other one? Uh, and Andrea. So we're resting those guys just with a, with a, you know, all part of the plan there. But definitely not underestimating anyone. You can't win this competition. Mm -hmm. Was it easy to put last week's game behind you in making selections for this game? In other words, you were firmly focused on what you done this week and next week. 100%. You know, funny enough, a uh, good question, Liam. We, we, Liam, we, uh, we, w it doesn't matter what the result was against the Blues, we already decided we're going to arrest those four players uh, in, the, in, the, in the rotation policy. So, as how easy was it uh, to, to, to pick a new captain, to pick uh, Franco as the new captain? Uh, very easy. Franco, from the five years back, we started with him, came from Turkey's, and he's one of those guys, you know, it's just net convoys fourth me, so it's very easy. He's uh, very inspirational. He, he runs the lineouts in any case. And uh, yeah, he's in our leadership group. And with Elton's backup as a, a, sp a springbok number 10, it, it's, it's a really easy transition. And well deserved. So it's just to get back to the, the team, Aaron, uh, at number 14, you decided about the shift? Very. He played a bit of 14 in England as well. Uh, the try score down the touchline, he was, uh, you know, standing out wide. Not uh, the reason why we picked him in there. <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, 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 he's uh, fine, you know. I believe the modern game, we, we discussed it this morning, if you're 13, many 13s can play 14. You know, we've got guys who can play 19 and 15. You can play Elton 12 any time. If you're a footballer, you can, you can uh, slot in. So, uh, we, we wanted to do it earlier, but he was still injured, so it's a, it's, it's a great time to give Sylvia a rest. He played great rugby up to now and let uh, Trocchi run in there. Um, and then, uh, I suppose, uh, Len Massain, just tell us a bit about him and your thoughts and expectations around him. We are very excited about him. One of our youngsters from uh, Monas. Uh, he's a bit of the mold of old Pietri Wannenberg between him and, and Waza, Warren Whiteley. He's a leader. He understands the game. He did very well in the age group level, so he deserves a chance, definitely. Franku, from your side, congratulations. Uh, just your thoughts around leading this team this week and so on? Yeah, sorry, I'm going to answer in Africa. That's fine, <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, yes, um, so I said, as first, it's a good thing to be um, a captain to be a leader, so I don't want to be a leader. So, as I said, I have a lot of good things. 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 I 
Det var som alltid bare sleit inn i et sånn. Mm. Ja. Det var så fjellagt fjell om, om å bygge flantisk bjørn i utgjøret og ting og alt. Det var bare så fjellet som flantisk bjørn som slått bjørn. Ja, i min er det ut. Jeg gikk ikke så jeg sier til for hvor er det ikke spryk. Jeg kom på kristall på hvor er mag. Men det er egentlig på hvor er det for nettet spjør. Jeg vet ikke hvor er det for å ombe i spjør. Men det er klomt lagt i spjør. Mens hulle krijg kans en as oude maagwerk en hulle krijg nie kans en so, ek denk jy hier om nie, maar op jou vraag, is service nie raar op groot verskil as vijf nie, is maar die selle rol, is maar net piekie waar jy nie in die hitte is van die guy nie, maar ja, dit is nie een groot verskil nie. Geniet jy die laatste? Ek geniet die laatste laatste baas. Wat is die lekkerste van service speel en wat in die kere die meeste? Die lekkerste van service speel is, jy kan meer met die baan aardje, en een beetje meer gesif wees daar op die vierie, maar die slechtste ring van CEO is definitief, as jy kan nie meer om die raks gaan om die tackles te maak, jy moet blaai en blaai en syke goeie kies. Jy nog een speciale wenke van Warren wat kapteinskap nie denk? Yes, jy. Yes, ek moet sê, ek het ek is baie hartseer eindelijk oor was wat hy seer gekryd en Ek is rarig so geëerd om het van hom af te vat en hy het my baie hierdie week gehelp en hy het vir my gesê sy het blij met rustig en dit is glad nie, gaan glad nie inpak maakie want het was plom ouds om jou wat al klaar had vijf jaar gestap het en ek het dit, ek moet het dit in bruis, so hy het rarig goed gedoen. Elton, from your side, you've played in Japan and that's in you must know some of the players who played for the Sun Wars and you've played them for the, you know, with the Lions now a couple of years. What are you expecting and, and have you seen an improvement in them and, and so on? I think the biggest difference for me, what I've seen, is that they've taken a lot of um, overseas-based players um, from their normal Japanese players. Um, but yeah, I think the fundamental stays the same, like getting out of the line. Um, they like to play in your face, especially when we have to defend. Um, they like the ball in play, um, they don't kick quite much, um, but maybe we'll see something different this weekend, so we'll have to be prepared for everything. Would the Blues have been a good warm-up for a team like the Sunwolves? I mean, that would be similar in a lot of ways. Well, it's different because the Blues is down our back, so we've got a different challenge and it's lying ahead. Um, I think it's quality the Sunwolves side, it's not the past, um, so we're going to have to be well prepared and ready to go for Saturday. So is Amari, waarom het dit kan om om hier te pak vraag of dit kans te haal? En hoe is Kloos die belang van Edis? Het kort is, wat is die verwachting van 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 Edis van die naam die kons? En wat het die wijse gewoon bij die nederlaag die die wijse van die naam? Ja, ons wil net ons proces hou, soos ons maar altijd sê, dit is nou die cliché, maar ons het uit, ons het, ons het, wat ons gevind het in die boos het ons die laatste 20 minuten nie by die proces gehou wat ons gewoond is aan in in die so ons het beslis wees geword wat het betreft. Daar is tye wat jy miskien, wat jy moet uitwerk speel jy daar, by hulle, of hou jy die bal, en ons moet nog nie die balans recht kry, maar ons het met die spaan goeie meeting nou oor gehad, en ons het ons het door jou gekom, en wat ons wil doen. Die verwachtingen van die spaan van jou van, wat gaan hulle uit, wat gaan hulle uit? Hulle gaan ombring, een ding van hulle, ek weet nie of jy die laatste jaar gevolg het nie, ek denk hulle het gedroom met die met die stormers en hulle die bille gewend, net wanneer het nie verwacht nie, so hulle, Hulle is typisch in hulle karakter, ja, met deze karakter, soos ek nou by Elfton en Sous hulle waar hulle was hoor, hy man hou nie op nie. So, jy, die game is nooit, nooit, nooit voorbij tegen hulle nie, en hulle is een karakterspan. En hulle hou aan speel, en hulle draad die bal. Even met die mensen, 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 die en dit maak nie saak tegen my ons die naweek eindelijk speel nie, dit gaan oor ons en ons supporters en jylle en jy ons wat achter ons is, dit is al wat tel. So die naam word nie eens gedoen nie, het word nie eens na die saakie, jy weet, wat in die vorm. So is, ek weet ek nie geseen nie, om die man eens van die New Zealandse rakkie skryf, wat ek jy een brief geskryf hier, die het waarna ek gesê, as die Lewis die Blues bloe by die huis, kan die Lewis hier daar, kan die rarig nie so goed wees nie. Het let jy opzitte goed en is dit dien dit veel als motiveren? Ja, ons is net mense die dien as motiveren. Ek sal hy uitnipsel hou. Maar ons moet ons ook nie te veel aan steer nie. Weet, as jy na die talents kyk, dit is spannend nie so voor ek die enige span kan wen op een given day. 
En terwijl hulle wil, dit is maar, so, jylle self koorant man, dit is maar nog een story. Jy weet wat die ouwe, uh, kyk wat het die boelser aan die herrikens gedeem by die huis, en toe gaan ons in die wens boelser met toe reaal. So ek weet nie, sy theorie maak nie vir my, vir my heel te mal sin nie. Maar dit is sy opinie en hy is gerechtig daar. Kijk, jy het nou vir ons die vraag om te doen. Jy het vir Frank ook gekies as kaptein, Hoe kom het jy om te kies en wat verwaak jy van ons saak? Hy weet, ek is nog eilie verbold toe. Nee, ek sal vir jy sê hoe ek Franke gekies het. Ek sal vir jy sê hoe kom ons besluit het, hoe kom ek specifiek besluit op Franke is net, hy is een van die wat sê kom moois. Hy sê, hy leid weer sy voorbeeld, hy is ongelooflik gedisciplineerd op hom van die veld af en hy is een rolmodel vir die span. En hy was in elk geval deel van ons, van ons, van die leiders groep gewees. En hy is anders, heel te mal ander karakter as Waza, jylle Warren. Warren is die diplomaat, Saus is die gouwer. Nie laat Warren nie die gouwer is nie, maar hy is die typische ou wat ons nou op hierdie stadium, hy sal sien nou maar op, hy sal dier voorbeeld leid. Jy kan maar kyk, hy sal na by die wal wees meeste van die tijd, want dis die Saus wat ons ken en dis wat ons van hom verwacht. En hy ook van die druk wat as jy dit op hom gooi. Ons het achterkom in die vorige jare al, as jy, toe akker drie jaar terug vir hom gesê, jy doen die lijn staan, het het soos Engelsman sê in Bruis, en hy het heel te man die ouds van hom afgeveed. So, dit was een natuurlijke keese om vir saus te kom bel en sê, ek wil hier met as een briefie die span vir ons leid. Frank, hoe sal jy jou kapteinstap opsom? Is jy wat met die skysrechte praat? Hoe voel jy jou moet opsom? Hoe voel jy jou moet opsom? Ja, ja, ek denk ek het my vrou het altyd gedink ek is een leier, maar ja, ek is nie een van die oos wat rarig praat waar hy nie. Ek sal eerder wil doen as sê, ons het een ding wat sê, talk is cheap, maar nie baie is die oosel. Ach, oosie, sorry. Ja, so, van my af sal ek maar net, elkens sal ook met die ref praat, en ons het oos wat met die ref gaan praat, Vir my is, my werk is maar net om te lief met elke en met die voorts en net die koos deel te kry. Wat is my net opraat van Afrikaanke van Japan? Nee, nee. Ek nie kort is, ek wil ook nou opvolg op wat my behouwe relevans praat vir die afwezigheid van Warren Mikey. Is dit een groot verlies vir julle? Daar afwees vraag, is dit een verlies vir julle? Hoe goed is hy verlies? En na die verloor van die Blues nou, hoe moet julle loop op en op jou aanskakel vir die rest van die competitie nou? Ons het by mekaar gekomande en ons het eerlijk mekaar en ons het die broers ons koos gesê 12 keer afgesluit en ons het baie goed ter sy daar game het geleer wat die positief was vir die span voor en toe en dan gaan op baie tougher games kom en was ons altyd een groot verlies in die manier van hoe hy die span lei en sy werkjetiek op die veld en sy leiderskap af in die veld ook ook met die jonger man en so ons gaan was aan mis maar het geef weer vir ons een geleentheid om te sien wat sal sy bring en ons as leiders om te sien of ons redder die span lei en dan obviously as verskillende rol en so So lekker challenge wat voor jou. En dan die idee die 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 boek. Jy is gevraag oor jou ervaring in Japan en wat jy weet van hierdie besoekers waar jy na weet mens vir wat ek kan doen? Ek het een paar veranderingen gesien wat baie meer ons sies as kun ons gekies. En hulle san ons groep as as jou traditionele Japanese groep. So het gaan bykie verander verskillend wees met lapies wat by die ballen gespeel het met Wally Brit wat hier by ons was. Maar hulle het een paar New Zealandse spelers ook. Maar hulle het ook Japanese spelers wat wat ook langs op praat nie gespeel het vir die laatste 2 of 3 jaar sal nog gespeel het, so het gaan nou verbeter en as hy op een sandelspan wees as wat ons laatste jaar so ver gewend het, so maar ons is alles gaan oor ons, want die hele weer was oor ons en in ons voorbereiding maak seker dat ons recht is gesat het. So as kind of just ask you about next week now, I know you don't want to look too far ahead, but in the last year and the year before, the team that went to Argentina was a weakened team, if I can use that word, what are your thoughts around that this season? Yeah, Jack, no, we we got to go full strength, eh? but still in the still with our plan, with our rotation plan. So, but we want to go uh, most probably, <coughs> depends on what happens this weekend, but most probably those four guys, those five guys that we're resting is with, with purpose, you know, that we can day fly them over with the team. Uh, yeah, does it answer your question? Well, might you then leave some of the guys who are playing this weekend, maybe like these two guys at home, or haven't you decided yet? No, I'll, I won't. Uh, 
I don't think we leave these two alone <laughs> at this stage. Unless they're not, they're not playing well enough, then we might just leave them alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, Jock, to, to answer your question, someone, as Alton said, someone has got to stay behind. And the guys are accepting their uh, rotation policy. But I think when we, what the guys that buy in, and, and, and maybe that'll help you a lot with your question, what the guys that buy in, all 37 that we're going to rate, there's definitely going to be rotation. Mm. There are guys in the team that's maybe not in the front line, and they might get a chance off the bench now and then to blood them. Mm. We must remember we're busy with a long-term process as well at the Lions. We've got in the 90s and 21s that did so well. So we, we, we can't just look at, at right here. We've got to have, be, be a bit broad-minded in that sense to, to make sure that we blood youngsters. What happened with our Chiba now, Anna Lin, my son, and and AP is a youngster who was sort of a, was our plan, our peer way to blood him, mm. but he's, he's, he, he just took every chance and he's, he's, he's now a starting line of blood. Mm. So there are, there are certain guys, it's easy to hide behind rotation policy, you know, but, but we are trying to do a rotation based policy because it's a long competition and last year you had easier games and all due respect, this year you don't have it, you know. Mm. Um, when are you going to fly out and that's and are there any things that you've learnt over the last two seasons that you might be doing differently this season? Yeah, no, look, that it is, a, it is a tough trip but we're going to fly a bit later. We'll be two, two or three days there and then play Saturday, come back and then we know we, the Crusaders are waiting for us in South Africa. Mm. But that's all part of the challenge and that's all part of, where, of our planning how to use players and how to rest them. So on the rotation part of it, uh, has the plan sort of brought, been brought forward now because of the injuries to guys like Yaku and, and Waza? The plan was always to give Waza some way a bit of a break. And uh, not, not to say that we, it would have been this weekend, but uh, same with Malcolm. We've got to look at Malcolm as well. We've got to look at, he's the kind of guy you don't, he, he don't, doesn't want a break. He flourishes the more he plays. Same with Elton. If I sub Elton, it's really to give a another guy a, a chance and and uh, yeah so uh, but we're still sticking to rotation that doesn't change. Elton if I could just ask you uh, the Sunwolves considered a side that concedes a lot of points how do you guys fight that temptation to not lose shape on attack and, and, and try to score I suppose at the first phase? I think we're gonna have to be more clinical um, when we carry the ball or when we be on defense um, yeah we just have to focus on us and do what we have to do. Uh, we've got a lot of challenges from the coach and it's for us to respond on the challenges. And and how, how does your role then, because you, you run the show at the back, what, what are the things you're kind of looking out for? Or the red flags that you're like, hang on guys, let's be more patient here. Obviously they're a bit different in terms of when I've played in Japan, they've got a lot more line speed when we have to attack, so that's something we're going to have to adapt to. Um, we're going to feel a little bit more pressure from their point of view. But we have to be clinical because they play uh, turn over ball and they'll punish you. Any more questions? The sun was against Sharks. <coughs> sharks with, with Andre Estevez at, at 12. He really bashed up through the middle a few times. They, they made a few yards through the middle. Um, is that maybe a, a strategy with, with Ruan also coming off from, off from, uh, from the wing with him and Harold there running off Elton and Ross to, to try and gain that advantage through the middle as the Sharks also did? Thanks for that one. We might use it. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good strategy. A good strategy. No, we'll, uh, uh, we'll, we'll, it's one of the ploys, yeah. But you know, the big thing that why is laughing now, we, 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 we do try and attack in high space. You know, often, uh, you know, uh, there's five spaces that's always, one of the five is always available and the decision makers must decide which one. So it's not really just uh, that, but, but to answer your question, Mera is, is a Troki is a guy that can, you can use him to get, get over the game line. Definitely. So the, the, the Sunwolves have quite a dynamic back. I mean, when you and then the fight mobile around the, the um, how, how excited are you for that battle? Uh, it's probably a different kind of battle that you've uh, endured, uh, faced uh, throughout this, this season. Uh, is, is it a forward battle that you, you guys embrace? Most games are still lost in one up front and, uh, and they, they're just a bit they're more, definitely more mobile. On defence they come very quick around the corner. Their line speed is good. Uh, so uh, they, 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 they definitely are more mobile back of forwards. Not saying that the Blues are not. The Blues had, as I said, individual stars, which they proved again, you know. So, uh, 
but they, as a pack, they're definitely more mobile. And a word on a former player like Vili Brits, I haven't seen that team, but you might obviously come up against the likes of Vili Brits. Yeah, Vili is such an inspirational guy, you know, he's a, he's a real man of God, he was so inspirational in our team as well. So uh, he plays rugby for the right reasons and it'll be a great challenge against him. But when we go in that park, I think for those 80 minutes, you know, he's not going to be just Billy. <laughs> Thank you, everyone.